Hello everyone, welcome to Unibook Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new transition tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create a particle transition in Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So as you create your composition, make sure to add footage to work with and a sound transition. So let's preview to see what I got here. Two footages from Adobe Stock in the sound transition that I'm going to use for the transition. So the first thing I'm going to do is create adjustment layer and let's rename these particles and we're going to trim these to the size of the sound layer. And as you see here, I have this marker, which is the cat of these two footage. And basically the in transition, we just want it to have around uh, 15 frames and the out transition, maybe around uh, 26 frames. So now we want to add CC ball action. And as you see, this is what we got when we apply these effects. And here there is few properties. There is scatter. And here we have the rotation axis and the twist. And here we have spacing and the ball size. So the idea here is animating the ball size in twist angles. So we're going to make the ball size 300 and zero out the grid spacing. So we get something like this, like we're getting our image back. And we want these two keyframes to be at the beginning here. And in the cat here, we want the ball size to be at, at 50 and twist angle to be 180. And then we're going to copy the first keyframes and paste them at the end. So we're going to get something like this, nothing fancy here. And here we have the rotation axis. We want to put that to Y. And so we're just going to change these rotation here. And as you see here, we have this twist property here and it's set to X axis and we have few different properties. We have radius here and here we have a random and we got very interesting locking here. And so what we're going to go for is brightness. So this is what we're going to get. This is look pretty cool. And so here it looks like the second footage like just bounced back to us. So we wanna fake this to make it a seamless animation. So we're going to add a secondary animation by using a camera here. So we're going to add a camera and let's trim this camera as well. And we're going to animate the Z rotation. So, we want here these, um, we want this C rotation, we want to add a keyframe here, and we wanted that to start from zero to 180. We want to put that at the end. So let's preview this. So we got something like this, as you see, and here we got a problem this is flipped so we're going to fix it later so we can add animation for the position as well so we're going to leave the position as it is in first and end so we just copy and paste that and here we want to change this to minus 1500 and basically we're just adding more animation to the camera so it look like there is more animation to this. And so let's preview and see how this looks like. And as you see, it looks fine for now, but we need to fix this flip problem. 
So we're going back here to particles and we're going to add transform. And here on this marker, we're going to go here to scale, uniform scale, and put there minus 100 on height and width. And we're going to add keyframes there. So here we want that to be just right after the cat and we want to reset these back so it doesn't flip the first. Okay, that's look pretty cool. So let's uh, basically easy ease these keyframes. So if nine. So now we can fix these like holes black there uh, by using motion tile on the particle facts there. So we're going to put here these on the top and we're going to go to output and put that 250, 250 and mirror edges. So let's preview this now. So as you see, this looks very cool. So now we need to stylize this to look more interesting. So we're going to add a fake camera lens blur here. So let's add a new adjustment layer and let's rename this to depth and apply camera lens blur. And we need to create a depth map to this. So already I have blur map here. So basically this is just um, animation here for these fractal noise here that we're going to use it as a depth map. So I'm going to show you how I create this. So let's delete this fact and on this solid layer let's add fractal noise and then let's change the fractal type to dynamic and here we have contrast so we're going to crank up that and on transform, let's zoom this closer and just change this to get something like this. And on complexity, hold Alt and click on stopwatch. So we're going to add wiggle 3, 2. And so we're going to get something like this. And then we're going to add expression to evolution. So we're going to add times times 100 and we're going to get something like this and we're going to add a rotation as well. So times time 10. So that's what we got. And then we're going to add fast box blur and just blur these and repeat edges and here we can adjust how that map looks so that's how i create the map so i'm going to leave this previous one so here let's turn off the visibility here and so on this tip map let's actually trim this as well and here the idea we're going to animate the blur radius. So let's put that to 100. You can't see anything. So we're going to assign that blur map to the camera lens blur. So we got something like that. And we're going to repeat edges. Let's put the highlight to 100 and fringe to 500 just to get a very nice cool effect here. And so let's add a keyframe here. And so we're going to animate that from 0 to 100 and then back to 0. And so here we have, actually here we have the focal distance. So we can change that focal distance if we want to. 
I'm going to leave that at zero and let's preview and see how this looks like. So as you see, it's add a little bit of fake camera lens blur or depth here. So now we're going to add color correction to this. So we're going to add adjustment layer and let's rename this CC and add glow effect here. And so let's put this to 10. Let's actually put it right here so we can see what is 10, 10. And let's put that on top. And let's change this to add. And opacity maybe to 50 here. And I'm going to duplicate this one and put this maybe just the way you want this to look. And glow intensity maybe to half of this. And I'm going to add a lumetry color to this and set the creative look to blue intense. And then add also a noise effect and put it to 5%. So let's preview and see how this looks like. So this look very cool. So basically here there's like a jump. So what we're going to do is hit T for opacity and we're going to add there two keyframes. So from zero to 100. So it looks seamless at the beginning and doing the same thing at the end here going to paste them and reverse these keyframes. And also here, we can fix here these highlights. So by adding curve and go to alpha, and if we crank this alpha app, we'll see what's happened there. or changing the look of this transition. So let's preview this again. Okay, so this look pretty cool. So what we're going to do now to use it with any footage. So we're going to pre-compose all these so we're going to pre-compose it. Let's rename this transition and hit OK. And you may notice that I didn't pre-compose this layer because this uh, color correction is related to the footage and how we want to color correct it. So I'm going to show you how to use this with any different footage or pictures. So here I have these two photos here that I want to use with. So let's solo these and make sure this is in the frame. And so here in this transition, we want to make sure these two footage sit to guide layer and then we're going back to our footage here and nothing changed. So we want to make sure uh, you see these two collapse transformation here. And so now our transition will show up here. So let's preview and see how this looks like. So as you see here, maybe you will end up having a different look because it we used the brightness twist uh, property. So if you got any uh, problems like this gap here, you just need to adjust motion tile and do adjustment you think you should do to make it look better. So hope you get the idea and you find this tutorial very useful for you guys. And if you have any questions, just comment and I will do my best to be responsive. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon. And thank you for watching.